The winds have definitely calmed down going topside here to the Idaho Falls Sky Cam. We're not seeing much in amount of wind for tonight. Just a little bit of a wiggle here, a gentle breeze rocking us to sleep here across the Snake River Plain. Current temperatures right now throughout the plain into 54 right now in Idaho Falls. Lower 50s in Pocatello, upper 30s for Driggs, mid to lower 30s in Jackson. And the wind speeds are sustained around southeast at 8 in Idaho Falls, but you got the occasional gust up to 15 miles an hour. I want to take you back over to First Alert Viper Radar, and I'm going to lapse it for you just to show you the movement of some cloud cover over the past couple of hours into south central Idaho. We're seeing some light moisture, especially just outside of Twin Falls and east of Boise, but it's not producing much. Most of the stuff evaporating before it even reaches the ground, and we're just detecting that moisture in the cloud cover. What I do have for you, though, is I take you really far out on the satellite radar loop here. Ridge of high pressure just dominating the weather forecast here for Arizona, Utah, all the way up to Montana, including us here, getting that warm air from the desert southwest. Deepening trough along the Pacific coastline here. That's going to continue to set up as we go into the weekend. But watch the ViperCast computer model. I start you off at 11 o'clock tonight and take you through the next couple of days. We still stay on the warmer side of that jet stream, but the trough keeps digging into the west coast, picking up some moisture as we move along towards Monday and Tuesday. And the temperatures will definitely drop as we pull in that cold air from the northwest and look for rain and snow by Monday afternoon in through Tuesday. Lows tonight above average, uh, just above, about freezing right now. 31 for salmon for the predicted low and 33 in Arco. Salmon's at 58, 60 in Chow, 60 in Arco. Southern Highland communities are seeing lower 40s in Pocatello and American Falls. 39 for Malad and the highs well into the mid to upper 60s in Pocatello and American Falls, 66 in Burley. IF, you're at 35, 36 in Blackfoot tonight with 32 at the site and temps tomorrow around 65. Beautiful weather in Idaho Falls, lots of sunshine and also great weather in Jack. Jackson Hole. Lows tonight back into the upper 20s. We'll see highs into the mid 50s, lower 60s in Rexburg, Lincoln County, Wyoming. 31 tonight in Afton. 31 in Montpelier in the extreme southeastern corner of Idaho, and you're seeing 56 there tomorrow. That's beautiful and warm for Bear Lake County this time of year. Eight day forecast coming at you now. Idaho Falls all the way up to near 70 degrees by Sunday. Rain showers start to come in by Monday and Tuesday as we get off to a soggy work week. It's going to be kind of a big turnaround, going from the upper 60s to the lower 50s by Monday. Rexburg, you're seeing here a high of 67 by Sunday. Going to Pocatello, 70 for Sunday, mid 50s on Monday and upper 50s on Tuesday. Blackfoot, 69 for Sunday, 54 on Monday. Rain showers, a pretty much of a soaker of our work week next week. Jackson, you're seeing the mid 50s there for Saturday and Sunday. Of course, we got you covered online, localnews8.com. I'll be back later during Newsline with another weather update. Jay, back to you. Thank you, Michael. Looks like a lovely weekend there. Well, tonight, ABC News has uncovered what could be, we say could be, the main reason behind the shortage of vital drugs. Now the government is getting involved. Plus, some amazing video coming out of Afghanistan of a military chopper crash. More of this video and just what happened coming up after this newscast on Newsline. But still to come in this newscast, the U.S. soldier accused in the killing of more than a dozen civilians in Afghanistan has been charged. The story after the break. But first, take a look at this week's ski report. The ski report is sponsored by Grand Targhee Resort, located on the western slope of the Tetons.